you've got the the DIY hitting strip, haven't you? That yeah, I'm assuming you've mm -hmm. made that yourself as well. Yeah. Now I'm so intrigued by this because I've been meaning for ages to have a go at building it myself, but for numerous reasons I've just not got round to it. Um, so can you just tell us like how realistic is that to real turf? Is it is it as good as what people make out? So I'm sure you've seen videos on them before, but yeah. I think I my only change I think I would make because it it has you know you can divot it in, it has that kind of flex to it, it has the soft foam to get to get some good bend. I think my only change I would make I was playing at X Golf the other day and this is like in the video I had said we had gotten really cheap turf right. My wife is like I'm picking the turf, picking the color, and so this is not necessarily like hitting turf and it's thin. And I really, enjoy, I'm a big divot taker. So like on the course, I take huge divots. And so the only thing I think I would change is to find some turf that's maybe, you know, like, you know, I don't want like an inch of thickness, but something that's like just a little bit thicker where you can dig in. Like X-Golf has one that's maybe like, you know, like, I don't know. Let's, yeah, let's I'm with you. Like, maybe like just maybe double the thickness. And I really like the kind of the feel of just getting a little bit of, dig into the turf first before you hit the panel. So that's probably the only thing I would change on the top. And then I'm actually building one that's bigger than this right now. So I'm building a, a so this one is a foot by two feet. And I'm going to build one that is basically, it's like 20 inches by three feet. And so the reason I'm doing that, to keep the longevity of the turf, like this will, like I said, the, this turf's a little cheap and I play a ton. So after like a month and a half, this will start to come out. And so what happens with that is like, I have to replace it, which is fine for this. Like I have a bunch of turf left over. I just rip it up, glue it down, cut it good. But for that, like, I don't want that to come and rip up. And so if yeah. that ends up ripping up, then it's like, okay, that's going to look bad. So what I'm doing is making one that's basically two feet wide. So you can practice swing on it. And so they're not practice swinging on the turf that's there. And then the reason I want to make it longer is anyone who I would say is above a like 10 handicap will fat it. So like, if you look at the back of mine, this is cracked off, which right. is still work. This still works fine, but you're going to get people who like, even though you got a foot back there, they're going to fat it so much. They're going to hit that. And that's happened a decent amount. And so I was like, okay, if I make it three feet in theory, it shouldn't get fatted, but it might. People, people are still probably going to do it, but I, Man, I'm going to make it golf. a little longer. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And then the only other change, and I think this is the most important one. Um, so if you look here, I have the polycarbonate, that plastic sticking out from the foam. Yeah. And I wouldn't do that again. So what's ended up happening is I wanted to have it have a little kind of give and slide forward when I hit. But the issue with that is this polycarbonate will kind of press into the turf in front of it. And so what it, what's ended up happening is like a little bit of that turf in front has ripped up. Now yeah. this turf is thin enough and it's blue that you glue it down and you can't see it. But I remember that same thing happened with my initial setup and it looked really, really bad. Like it looked terrible. So I would recommend n not having that plastic forward because if you rip that up, it's going to look bad. Um, and that's probably my biggest tip. And if anything, try to find a way to allow it to cushion still without like, um, without this plastic coming forward. So one thing I thought of, if, it, if it's right up to the end of the, the plastic, maybe what you could do is screw some springs in there and make the turf a little longer. So it kind of goes into the spring, but doesn't hit the turf in front of it. Or maybe you could use this soft foam and kind of have that up here so there's a little give or just a little something to give it that cushion but you don't really want this plastic bumping into the turf a ton is what i would say yeah. which is what happened with this and that's why that ripped up in front a little bit in terms of the actual like main structure of that little hitting strip i mean i'm assuming it's pretty rigid and you'll be able to use it for months maybe years or something it's just the the top bit of the turf gets worn down and that's the bit that you have to replace is it yeah i i honestly think i think if it's longer like the, like i said this back is cracked off but it's only cracked off because people hit this plastic like you can kind of see uh 
Yeah. A little better. Because people fat it right here. But if you hit the, just, you know, anywhere that's not the very back, this thing won't, it's not going to crack. The, it's, and then make sure you get polycarbonate. There's some other stuff that will crack a little easier. So the polycarbonate okay. won't crack. And then you literally, it, it takes five, once you've got this down, it takes five minutes to rip up, glue back down, and then you cut it in the morning. And I think, like, honestly, I think even this, could last a very, very long time. Like, and especially if you make them three feet long, I think they could last, I think they could last you like years and years. Yeah. Yeah. And you play quite a lot, like you say, don't you? Yeah, for sure. So, um, it's funny when you, when you're doing YouTube videos, you play less than you think, even though you're like, you know, know, both kind of golf YouTubers, you end up editing a little more, but (sighs) it's, If you've got value from this video, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to Handicap Golf for even more invaluable home golf simulator content. And if you'd like to see Jock Simulator in even more detail, then watch the full podcast interview with me and him by clicking on this video right here.